So what have we done in the last class? We started with the quadratic equation uh, chapter. Yes. Yes. Did we do uh, 6.1 in the previous lecture? Yes. Yes. Which of the following are quadratic equations? Was this done? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the, second, the second one is a quadratic equation. The third one is a quadratic equation. And the fifth one is a quadratic equation. Is it very clear? Uh, teacher, third one is also a quadratic equation. Yes, because we're going to multiply, no? so we're going to get squared. No? 5y multiplied by 3y is going to give you square, no? 15y square. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you're going to get a square there. Correct? Yeah. Now, can we go ahead and learn a new thing and then do an exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, today we're going to learn about the standard form of a quadratic equation. And you have to understand that the standard form of quadratic equation is something like this. Ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Okay, this is the standard form. Now, when I say ax square, that means I know the degree has to be two. Okay, then I should have the same variable. Okay, if I have x here, I have to have x with b. And I should have a number also. Now, here you have to understand that a, b and c are supposed to be constants. That means they are supposed to be numbers. While your x can be any variable. Is it very clearly understood? Yes. Okay. Now, here in the solved example, they are asking us which of the following quadratic equations are in the standard form. Those which are not in the standard form, write them in the standard form. Okay. Now, look at the first question here. 2 plus 3x plus 5x square is equal to 0. Now, do you think it is in the standard form? No, because the square has to come first. So to write it in the standard form, we will write 5x square plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Do you get it? Yes. yes. Where 5, 3 and 2 are numbers and x is a variable and in the quadratic equation you have the same variable. Same variable with the degree 2. Do you understand what I speak? Yes. Look at the second question. Now the second question, is it in the quadratic form? Yes. Yes, it is. Where you have 3, 5 and 2. 3 minus 5 and 2 are constants. X is the variable with degree 2. So we will call it to be in the standard form. Correct? Now look at the third question. Now third question, is it in the standard form? First I will have to Say it is not in the standard form. Why? Because we don't have it in the form of ax square plus B, bx plus c. Teacher, I have a doubt. Yeah, tell me better. Um, the signs also should be same, right? No, if it not is necessary. A, Your no. signs can okay. change. It can be ax square minus bx plus c. It can be ax square plus bx minus c. It can be any sign. Plus minus okay. is no problem. Okay. You have to have three numbers, okay? And you have to have one variable, variable with degree two. Got it? Now yes. look at this particular sum, the third one. 7x square minus 5y is equal to 2y plus 3. Is it in the standard form? No. no. Because it should be equal to zero. No. Now it's equated to zero. No. So first thing I'm going to try doing is to equate it to zero. Now I have y uh, 7y square 
minus 5y. Okay. Now 2y from my right hand side is going to go to the left hand side. It's going to become minus 2y. Am I correct? 3 yes. from the right hand side is now going to go to the left hand side. So it's going to become minus 3 is equal to 0. Am I right? Yes. Now yeah. I get 7y, the whole square, okay, minus 5y minus 2y. What is it going to become? Now y, y are like terms. We can add and subtract. Minus, minus means plus, sign of the greater number. So I get minus 7y. Tell me, am I right? Yes. P is equal to 0. Now look at this. Is it in the standard form? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. yes. So now I can call it to be in the standard form. Now look at the fourth question. Is it solved for us or we will have to solve it? We have to, we solve, will have it. to, solve, we have to solve it. Now to solve, what do we do? z plus 1, z plus 2 is equal to 3z plus 1. Okay. Now, I have always told you when there are two brackets, what are we supposed to do? Take the first one of the first bracket, multiply with the second bracket, close the bracket, then go back to the first bracket, whatever is remaining in the first bracket with the sign. Take that, multiply it with the second bracket. Do you remember we keep doing this? Now, I don't think there should be any problem if you're multiplying two brackets. Is it going to be a problem? Tell me. Teacher, I have a no. uh, doubt in the first question. Yeah, tell me better. Uh, you said that it's not in a standard form and you have to write 5x square plus 3x plus 2. Yes. So when you change it, uh, it should become minus 5x, right? No, I am doing it on the same side of equal to, right? Am I bringing it from the right hand side to the left hand side or it is in the left hand side only? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is in the left hand yeah, side. Yeah, same only. side. No, it is on the same side. You have to see. If you are taking it on the other side of the equal to, then the things will change. If you are keeping it on the same side of the equal to, then nothing will change. Okay. Okay. Can we go to the question four? Any doubt with the question for multiplication of two brackets? No. Okay. So this should be equal to 3z plus 1. Okay. Now I'm going to open the bracket. Z multiplied by Z. What is it going to be? Z square. Z square. Plus 2z plus 1z plus 1, 2, Z 2 is equal to 3z plus 1. Am I right? Yes. Now I write it in the same way. z square now plus 2z plus 1z. What will it become? Plus 3z plus 2 yes. is equal to 3z plus 1. Now I know to make it in a quadratic form I am supposed to equate it to 0 and whatever is on my right hand side, I will bring it on the left hand side. Now, when I bring it on the left hand side, it is going to change the sign. Yes or no? So, I have z square plus 3z. Now, I am going to bring that z with 3z which is on the right hand side to the left hand side. So, that will become minus 3z. Okay. Then I do plus 2. And I'm bringing 1 which is on the right minus hand side. So yes, it becomes minus 1 is equal to 0. Am I right till here? Yes? Yeah. Now you can see that plus 3z and minus 3z. What am I going to get? Plus 3z and minus 3z. 0? Yeah, 0. Yeah, it will be cancelled. Yes, it will be cancelled. It will become zero. So now what is remaining? What do I have? I have z square. Okay. Plus minus 
will again be minus sine of the bigger number plus one is equal to zero. Am I right? Yeah. Now tell me, is this in the standard form? No. No, it is not in the standard form. So to write it in the standard form, you can see what we can do. Now we don't have that middle middle variable. Do we have that middle variable? No. No. So we to write it no. in the standard form, we will write z square plus zero z. Do you get it? अगर स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म में लिखना है तो बी आएगा ही आएगा फिर वो जीरो ही क्यों ना आए सो इट विल बी ए एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स इट इज जेड स्क्वेर प्लस जीरो जेड प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड यू विल हैव टू राइट देन ओनली यू विल कॉल इट टू बी इन अ standard form is it very clear yes yes tell me if you have any doubt anything that you have not understood yes sufian i can't hear you beta not able to hear you at all either remove the earphone maybe there is something some problem with the earphones so okay others can hear so okay no okay. no nobody can hear you beta now try speaking सुपियन या चैट करो आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग सुपियन अभी कांट हियर यू इधर शो मी अ थम्स अप इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड और अ थम्स डाउन इफ यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड इज ही स्टक आई थिंक सो वी स्टिल कांट हियर हिम चलो एनीवेज Now, have you understood the standard form idea? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we are going to go to our next exercise, and that is six point two. Which of the following quadratic equation are in the standard form? Those which are not in the standard form, rewrite them in the standard form. Okay. Now, the first one. Tell me, is it in the standard form? no no so we need to write it in the standard form so to write it in the standard form i'm going to write 3y the whole square minus 2 minus y minus 1 is equal to 0 am i right yes yes now to make it better i'm going to write 3y The whole square minus y minus two minus one. What will it become? Minus three. Yes, minus three. Equal to zero. Now, can I call this to be in a standard form? Yes or no? teacher even the variables can change no why will the variable change beta no 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 uh, the standard form should be like ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 yeah so, so so here i have no number that means one is there no so my b is Hello, minus 1 no yes sufian i can Hello. hear you now and can you repeat that standard form i can understand okay i will do that i will do that sufian yes safia Um, no, teacher. I'm asking whether it should be like a first x 
x only should be there or any variable no, z, y can x be or there, z can be there t can be there p can be there you should have three numbers a b and c and you should have one and variable zero. any variable okay. yeah and zero okay now for example if i try to find out a b and c of this particular quadratic equation my a is equal to 3 do you agree yeah yes my b is equal to minus 1 do you agree uh, which one is you are talking about b, b b now i'm talking about b my a is 3 my b yeah yeah minus 1 minus 1 okay and what is c can i say minus 3 yeah minus 3 got it so I have got yeah, a, yeah, got it. B, and C. Okay. And I've got the variable. My variable is Y. Okay. Barira, Sharia, are you understanding, Beta? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to clear this. Sufyan, for you, I'm repeating the standard form. Okay. I'm just showing you how it has to be. And I'm sure you're going to pick it up quick. Yeah. Sufyan, are you with me, beta? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. See, the standard form is supposed to be in this form. Ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Okay. Now, when I say ax square, bx and c, a, b and c are supposed to be numbers. Okay, like how you can see in this particular equation. Can you see this equation, beta, which I have just underlined? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so you can say that your A is 3, your B is minus 5, your C is plus 2. And you can see the degree of the variable is square. And it is equated to 0, correct? Yes, ma'am. Getting it, beta? Yes, ma'am. So we can call this to be as an quadratic equation in the standard form. See, it is in the standard form if A, B, and C are constants. When I say constants, that means they have to be numbers. X is a variable. That means any variable will do. Then we call it to be a quadratic equation in its standard form. Is it clear, Vita? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we move to the exercise, the second question. Okay, now let us look at question number two. Is it in the standard form? No. No, it no. is not in the standard form. So how do we write it in the standard form? 2x square minus 3x. It is minus 2x square. Am I right? Yes. Okay, then what? Minus, so, minus 3x minus 3x plus 5 plus is equal five. to 0. Plus 5 is equal to 0. Now can I call it to be in the standard form? Yes. yes. No, not yet. Because one point which is very important is your A is supposed to be greater than 0. Is it greater than 0? No. It is minus 2. I didn't understand. You cannot have the first A as minus. It has to be plus. Negative. It should not be negative. Okay. Ah, it should not be negative. It has to be greater than 0. So now what do I do? Tell me. You know what I can do? Yes? Put it on the other side. Exactly. I'm going to do that only. But then the other signs will change. Yes or no? Yeah. Now I have zero on this side. Okay, I've taken all this on the other side. Now when I'm taking it on the other side, my 2x square, okay, became positive. What do you think will happen to minus 3 when it goes on the other side? Plus 3x. Plus 3x. And plus 5 when it goes on the other side, what is it going to be? Minus 5. 
minus 5 and now i can call it to be in the standard form do you get me okay so the first one alone shouldn't be negative others yes. can be negative yes yes okay i will show it to you where it is written i will show it to you have you copied this down yeah now see can you see this part teacher but uh, teacher but that is also not in a standard form because zero yeah, is in will, the first yeah you will you know you can exchange the sides now you can exchange the sides zero is equal to now this. if you exchange again it will become uh, minus no no the, no no uh, see first. see zero is equal to this this can be equal to zero yeah only you will yeah. change the place you yeah, get okay. it better Because yeah, we are yeah. not changing anything now. Now we've already put zero is equal to this, correct? Yes, but yes. Now yeah, see, yeah. a x square plus b x is equal to zero. This is the standard form. A should be greater than zero. Now, when I say a should be greater than zero, what does it mean? Can it be negative? no it should be positive yes not in negative a should be always positive then we can call it to be in the standard form got it very well a greater than 0 what does it mean a b c are constants constants means numbers x is variable variable means alphabet very clear yes can we go to the yeah. next one yeah yes now let us look at our third question tell me whether it is in the standard form no we have to make oh. the standard form. yes it is not in the standard form so now i have to make it in the standard form now i can see two brackets when i see two brackets what am i supposed to do first bracket first one multiply with the second bracket then whatever is remaining in the first bracket write with the sign so i write minus 1 multiply with the second bracket i hope now it is very clear yes or no yeah yeah now how do we go ahead 3t multiplied by 3t 3 3 multiply karenge to 9 3 3 is a 9 t multiplied with t will give me t square correct Now three t multiplied by one will give me three t minus one multiplied by three t. What will it give me? Minus three t. Yeah, minus three t. Minus one multiplied by plus one. One I will get, but minus one is equal to zero. Now tell me what is happening to three t and minus three t. Ah, uh, teacher, I did not understand that plus one into oh, uh, sorry minus one, one multi into plus one. one multiplied by one. One one is a one. No, but uh, plus into minus is I will minus, do that. So zero. I will do that. I will do that. One multiplied by one is one. One one is a one. Yeah. Minus one multiplied by plus one. Minus plus whenever it is the sign is minus. Minus, yeah. So minus one multiplied by plus one is going to be minus one. One multiplied okay. by one, and the sign of the minus will come. Getting it? You want more examples of the same thing that you have not understood? Uh, yes, teacher. That one I didn't understand. Okay. The plus one and one. I will. I will do that with you after I write this the uh, equation. 
I'll come to that minus and plus multiplication with you. Yeah, Is yeah, okay. Fine? Can we complete yes. this? Okay. Yes, please. Now, now look three at three T and three T will be cancelled. Exactly, exactly. Plus three T and minus three T will be cancelled. So what should I write in this place? Zero T. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to write nine T the whole square. Plus zero t minus one is equal to zero. Now tell me, is it in the standard form? Uh, yes. Now, uh, teacher, now we'll get minus zero t, right? Because plus in minus becomes minus. Better zero will not have negative number at all. We never have minus. Oh, yeah. Zero is always yes, positive. Yes. Is it very clear till here? Yeah. Now I'm going to Safiya's doubt. Okay. Now tell me Safiya. Minus 3 multiplied by plus 2. What do we get? Three multiplied by 2 is? Uh, 6. Minus 6. Yes. You get a minus 6. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Now same way. I'll give you more examples. What will you get? Minus uh, 15. Yes. Because you're taking the sign of minus because minus plus is always minus. Correct? Now same way if I had to write with 1. Now what will I get? One one is going to be one and minus sign will come. Correct? Yeah, yeah. I but forgot the multiplication part and no I just problem. told. If no it's problem. Plus it's, okay, beta. it's okay. Now tell me what will come if I do minus three multiplied by minus three. Tell me what will come. Minus three multiplied by minus three. Yes. Uh, plus zero. No. 3, 3 is how much, beta? 9. nine. Minus 9. No, minus will not come because minus, minus will become plus. Okay. Okay. See, what you have to be aware of is the signs. I will write the signs for you if you want. Minus plus will always be minus. Okay. Plus minus. Yes. Plus minus. Plus, plus. Yes. Plus minus will again be minus. Okay. Plus. Plus will be plus. Minus. Minus will be plus. Plus. These are the signs for multiplication. If you want, you can write this down, beta, Safia. Yeah. These are the signs for multiplication. This is what it becomes. Okay. And your textbook answers are wrong. Huh? Textbook answers are wrong for the second and the third, 6.2. So please uh, keep that in mind. Huh? Is this done? Which one? Yes, Peter. What should you do? I'm saying question. whatever is on the screen is done. Yeah. yeah. Now we are going to do the fourth sum. And I got the fourth answer. That's Zero right. is equal to 3x square plus x plus 5. 
माइनस फाइव आएगा बेटा क्योंकि फाइव वो साइड जाएगा तो माइनस हो जाएगा और फिर उसके बाद यू विल है स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म दैट मीन यू विल राइट थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो कैन आई इरेज दिस वॉट एवर इज देयर ऑन द स्क्रीन यस ओके नाउ वी डूइंग द फिफ्थ वन सुफियान इज करेक्ट बट ओनली ही विल हैव टू चेंज द साइड ओके नाउ वॉट डू आई डू आई कीप जीरो ऑन दिस साइड आई राइट इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स द होल स्क्वेर एज इट इज आफ्टर द इक्वल टू जैसा लिखा है वैसा ही रहने दो माइनस एक्स फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज गोइंग ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो इट विल बिकम प्लस एक्स फाइव इज अगेन गोइंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टू राइट हैंड साइड सो इट विल चेंज इट साइन एंड बिकम माइनस फाइव okay now because the standard form always say that equate the equation with zero so i am going to write 3x the whole square plus x minus 5 is equal to 0 and this is going to be my quadratic equation in the standard form is it very clearly understood yeah any doubt in this question yeah. no okay so first part and the second part is clear yes yes okay can i erase it now this 6.3 use the factor method i will have to teach you okay so i will not start it for today because it's a entire process you have to understand it and i don't want to do it in a hurry because this is a very important part that we should be doing we have to solve the quadratic equation but what you have to understand is whenever they give you a equation okay we should be able to break it up into factors i will teach you in the next class don't worry at all for now we end our class here have you understood today's class well yes, yes. so for yes, homework what you are going to do is practice 6.1 practice 6.2 ask me if you have any doubt because otherwise you will find this to be difficult chapter if you don't practice and if you practice it's going to be one of your easiest chapter okay so see you tomorrow bye bye um teacher i have uh, submitted the first uh, quadratic equation uh, okay first very unit. good very good beta that's nice bye bye have a great day